Hi, this is Reading the Bible with me from A to Z, a project I'm doing for myself, for my children, and for anyone who wants to listen. There's a certain power that comes with reading the word out loud. It says in Romans 10:17 through 18, Consequently, faith comes through hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Of course they did. Their voice has gone out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Second Chronicles 3. Then Solomon began to build the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem on Mount Moriah, where the Lord had appeared to his father David. It was on the threshing floor of Arana, the Jebusite, the place provided by David. He began building on the second day of the second month in the fourth year of his reign. The foundation Solomon laid for building the temple of God was 60 cubits long and 20 cubits wide, using the cubit of the old standard. The portico at the front of the temple was 20 cubits long across the width of the building and 20 cubits high. He overlaid the inside with pure gold. He paneled the main hall with juniper and covered it with fine gold and decorated it with palm tree and chain design. He adorned the temple with precious stones and the gold he used was gold of parvaim. He overlaid the ceiling beams, door frames, walls, and doors of the temple with gold and he carved cherubim on the walls. He built the most holy place, its length corresponding to the width of the temple, 20 cubits long and 20 cubits wide. He overlaid the inside with 600 talents of fine gold. The gold nails weighed 50 shekels. He also overlaid the upper parts with gold. For the most holy place, he made a pair of sculptured cherubim and overlaid them with gold. The total wingspan of the cherubim was 20 cubits. One wing of the first cherub was five cubits long and touched the temple wall, while its other wing, also five cubits long, touched the wing of the other cherub. Similarly, one wing of the second cherub was five cubits long and touched the other temple wall, and its other wing, also five cubits long, touched the wing of the first cherub. The wings of these cherubim extended 20 cubits. They stood on their feet facing the main hall. He made the curtain of blue, purple and crimson yarn and fine linen with cherubim worked into it. For the front of the temple he made two pillars, which together were 35 cubits long, each with a capital five cubits high. He made interwoven chains and put them on top of the pillars. He also made a hundred pomegranates and attached them to the chains. He erected the pillars in front of the temple, one to the south and one to the north. The one to the south he named Jachin, and the one to the north, Boaz.